hello you are welcome to my channel um this is i blessing up and in this video i will show you how i create this jota design in pixel app and in case you are new to this channel kindly do subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and please don't forget to like this video also and as well drop a comment all right let's get started okay so this is my pixel app app and let me import the design we are creating we are working with and we are working on so here is it you can see this is not a squash size design you can see this is not a square size design so i'm going to work on this size but before we do let's take this out of the canvas all right you click on this three dot on top click on image size and edit this So the side we are making use of for the width is 1748 this is um a5 this is a5 size all right this is the standard jota size a5 all right even for a6 is always the same thing all right 2480 okay so here is it so we are going to change the color here to I'm going to bring up the color palette we are making with, with we are working with in this design. So we're working with this color palette. Alright, so I'm going to change this color background color to white. Alright, but this white is different. Let us click on this. Click on your color, click on this plus icon. Click on your color picker and click on this and choose this white here. Alright, different. Alright, this is it. Let's start right tops. Alright. Congratulations on your. So please remember this is a this is a um jota design you're making. Make sure you create space for the dots. That they'll be created for your design your printed design it's going to give them a lot of stress when there is no space at this edge part here it's going to be giving them a lot of stress so just make sure it's the space for dots the enough space even this does not have enough space this space here is not enough so just work with what i'm showing you here i'm going to calculate the grid but let's just go on so the fonts we made i made use of is the mtn all right and the color is black not gray not gray all right congratulations on your if you use the size congratulations on your okay let me work with it right now let's see the ratio 10 I'm work with this so make sure your design stands at the edges all right so taking click on plus again for your oats increase the size all right so you go to font and change this to cinzel black then copy Make sure there is space, two space, because of the for the other parts to show well. Okay, but you can see the decorative pattern in this, this and the hand here. So it's still the same font, but it's different fashion. Since you know, decorative black, all right. And induction. Is going to work on it and the arrangement then the next is into the copy and edit into the right. so you go to front again then go to front again Let's do this. 
The font is in the description. The link to download the font will be in the description of the video. So, size. Let's see. Next is to bring up the shape. Alright, then go to gradient. Go to click on plus. Then bring it this year and bring this here. Click on this part. There are two color wheel here. So click on this, click on color picker, click on this and choose the tip one. Alright, and then for this, click on the color bucket, color icon, color picker and choose the light one. Alright, so that's how we have this. Alright, let's bring this to the top. Okay, so the next is let me check out this. Okay, so let's leave it this way and block. After locking, then we get um, the news rights in this word. Copy. Doctor. Let's go to fonts. So here is the font for Doctor. This is the font. Increase the size. Give it color, right? And bring it to the center. Turn on your grid to see so that you know. So the next is write the name, the name on the doctor, Celia, its color, white color, and it is the size. O D M M O E M M O E. Alright. So we're going to make this a lighter version because that's not a name, just a title. So I'm going to make it lighter. Alright. So. Next on ground is moving in the image of the lady with the top down. Let's stay this way. In the image of the top down. Size seventy eight. The 
then we lock alright so after locking the next is get the shape And give it gradients, the same gradients, alright. Place it at the same middle and bring it down. Then take this to the back, alright. Then you lock. The ones you have done, you lock them. Yeah. Alright, so the next is to bring up this metal image. Alright, so this is this is initiating an entirely different color to this design, so it does not perfectly fit it. So I'm gonna be working on the coloring. Let's go to color filter. And let's use it a bit so it blends. So minus um, minus twenty three is fine. You can see it's now like the color. We are working with them. Increase, reduce the size. Alright, this is very nice. Alright, so lock this also. Then make the next right tops. And copy this Maybe the white color give it a line spacing December 13. Alright, so let's send one more. Get a shape to spread here. Get the shape, go to gradients, and then give put this here. Put this here for this. So for this color wheel here, yeah, not this, this one here. Yeah. Click on pocket icon, color picker, and then choose the light pink. Click on OK. Then for no, for then for this, click on the color pick um color pocket icon again, then choose transparent. Let's do something little. So that's that. Click on lock, lock them all. Right, so make sure you work on your alignment also. Make sure it's all aligned. Go to color gradient and choose the same also. Take it to the back, 
then click on copy go to edit increase the size of this now reduce the opacity give it stroke give it stroke give it the gradient again right so that's that about that and click on ok click on edit give it stroke also let's say 15 52 and this one here use your opacity just this just beautifies more what you did all right just beautify the more what you've done all right let's copy another one so that it's window be normal so you can see let me lock all this no let me lock all this so that's all about it. See what that was beautiful, it's very nice. The essence of this space at the edge, this edge space is for there to be for, for the printers to be able to bleach it. Those spaces, those cut out spaces, cut out dots, so that the strings of your jotter can put put on it. So that is the reasons why you're putting you are leaving this space because of the cut out dots that we put on it. Alright, so let's move this a bit. this also a bit All right, then go to then for this oats the colors are also the gradient color alright then the taking that is it this is the front page of the jota the jota design all right so for the back cover of the jota i just eat the elements of the um front cover now so i can make the designs for the back cover then change the color then I change it from um white to gradient the, the gradient color same gradient color we've been using and um, let me put This is what I'm working with. Alright, click on erase color. Erase color. Alright. Okay, so let me change. Reduce the size. Change the color from yellow to white. Alright. Next is make the right top. I'm gonna be making the same the same font to use for this December store. Bring it to the top. Bring it to the front and press it. So change the color from this to to the gradient. Just write it right, put it right top. Right. Move the line spacing from. So remember, this font is um, the MTN Sans font. Increase the size a bit. Okay, let it to be at the center. So 
can bring in the image as well. Okay. Can reduce the opacity so it will be that clear so it will be that visible all right opacity is 22 so for this sharp edge this edge of this the sharp edge remember three ways to three ways to blend your um image to your background so this is one of the ways just make it you make it too sharp all right now making it too sharp then bring in the shape Radius, radius of it should be okay. Right, so it's it's seven to size so it's seven to forty five. All right, so let it be at the center. Once that is done, click on texture. But well, before then, let's copy it again. Go to edit. Reduce the opacity. Give it stroke. Let's lock all this then click on the shape and click on texture to add the calendar texture on it right calendar texture and the calendar texture and enable all right this texture was gotten from um blank calendars blank calendar.com you can go on your google chrome to search for blank calendar but however the link to get it will be at the description of this video as well so that you can download different calendars at custom all right so let's bring up the next image change the direction so 22 is okay 22 percent it's okay so that is that so you put your name all right so this is the back make sure you save to you. save as image to your gallery 
all right so this is the complete video guide on how to make a jota cover design this is the front and the back cover watch out for the next video on how to make the inner design goodbye for now